Good morning, Amanda. How are you going? Good morning. Yeah, How what's going you? on? We're going to make some meatballs. Meatballs? Yeah. Right, so we're going to do some cooking. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. What's the whole idea of this meatball thing? Just to have a nice, healthy snack for uh, the day. They last a long time as well in the fridge, so. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Instead of going and grabbing a bag of chips or something, this is a lot healthier. That's it, it's a trick that uh, my brother gave me quite a few years ago about uh, making these small little snacks and having them in the fridge. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, like Amanda said, if you get hungry during the week, you can get into that rather than eating bad stuff. So um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. Local eggs. Local eggs. Local eggs from one of the uh, Margaret River farms down here. Yep. Look at the colour of those, they're good, eh? Mm -hmm. Some nice fresh thyme. Beautiful. Some nice flavour. Right, right, right. So you've got a bit of egg in there, then you're going to throw all your flavouring in and just toss the mints around? Yeah, toss the mints around, then you chop up the onion and garlic and zucchini. So it's pretty much whatever you feel like. Cool. So, so um, meat patties with uh, egg and zucchini, and we've got some uh, frozen peas we're going to throw in mm -hmm. as well. All right, that looks pretty good. And we've got, we're having turkey and pork mince meatballs. Right, so we've got some turkey and some pork mince just to change it up a bit. Mm -hmm. Cool. But we like lots of flavour, but it's it's up to you what you want to put in there. So um, we're putting in some garlic, uh, onion, fresh parsley, some fresh thyme, some chili, sriracha, of course. Sriracha, of course. Of course. Yeah. Got to have a bit of that. Bit of a nice little knife work there, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so far, I've still got all my fingers. Today, anyway. Today, anyway. So we normally try and have a uh, big shop at the start of the week, like most people do, and then uh, we'll spend a, an hour or two in the kitchen getting all of this stuff ready now, and that'll, that'll set us up for success for the week. Mm -hmm. Could be good. We uh, do this on our last day before we head back to site as well, and uh, I normally take them up for snacks for work for the week, which is a great way to do it as well. Throw a few in the lunchbox. So what's the main thing here? We're really just looking at the base being the mints and then you're just putting any kind of flavouring you want in it? Yeah. What's that one? This one is turmeric. Turmeric. Look at the colour of that. Mm -hmm. And... Some smoked paprika. Beautiful. Lots of pepper. some salt. And can't go wrong with some chili flakes. No stingy bum. There we go. It looks fantastic. Mm. Um, what's this funny looking contraption. It's my little chopper. Your chopper. So I don't have to cut my fingers up. Okay. <coughs> so it's got a whole lot of blades inside it, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yep. Blades. What's the saying? You want to work... Uh, Work smarter, not harder. Yep. Look at that, all done, except for mm -hmm. that one. Beautiful. Ta-da! Ta no such so, thing as too much garlic. No, not, what was that? Sorry? No such thing as too much garlic. Too, oh, right, okay. What's what's the trick to getting the garlic open? Have you got any? Squish them. Squish them? So what have you done? You've just kind of cut the end off, you squish them up, yeah. just rip out the garlic. 
Cool. It's all just going into the same mix with the yep. onion. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yummy, yummy, mm. yummy. We do use garlic for everything. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, most of the time it's either garlic and uh, chili we normally <laughs> throw in, whether it needs it or not. It does need it. Everything it does. needs it. Everything needs it. Right, putting a bit of zucchini in this one. Yes, a bit of zucchini. Will you finely chop it or? Yeah, just finely chop it. Or you can grate it if you want to. Grate it, yeah, right. I've never really done this a lot in um, meat patties, so it doesn't go too soggy. No, no, it doesn't. Just don't put too much in, but. Skin and everything. Yep, skin and everything. So just wash it first, but yep. Skin, everything goes in. Half a zucchini we put in, and yep. you just put Half in some. Half a zucchini. Yep, some frozen peas, mm -hmm. um, which is good. And now we're just going to mix that all together. Mm. Wow, that looks pretty good just on its own. Mm, it smells really good too. Mm -hmm. So it's not really going to be that hard. Then what you're just going to mix in uh, the mince. Yeah, no, it's just the mincing, bit of sriracha. Um, do you like a bit of barbecue sauce in there, so we'll do that. Barbecue sauce, woo! <laughs> it's um, interesting how your palate changes as you get older. I never really got into hot stuff. You know, when I was younger and then as I've got older, the palate's definitely changed and I do like a little bit of heat now. Um, I still can't keep up with Amanda and I've got to tame her back a little bit, but um, <laughs> uh, I love it. But see, barbecue sauce, you just can't beat it. Look at that. <laughs> She's pretty light on with the barbecue sauce, but that's all right. So what have we got there? That's the- uh, That's the turkey. The turkey. Turkey meat. This is where you're going to start getting your hands dirty. Perfect. Best way to cook. Mm. And that was the lamb. Mince? Oh, pork. Yeah. Pork mince. You can use all one flavour or one meat mm -hmm. if you want. It's just what we've done. All right. What are we up to now? You're going to get your hands dirty? Yeah. Yeah. Whenever so you're ready. Wash my hands. They're all clean. So. Yep. Into it. In we go. It's just the easiest way of mixing it up. Looks like a bit of fun. How long do you have to mix it up for? Oh, it just on top. It's all yeah, combined. There's no more meat clumps. Doesn't matter if it's too runny or? No, 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 not with these. The egg is what holds them together. So we don't put flowers in ours. That leaner meat I always find makes it, it does, it does become a little bit softer. I find when you yeah. just use the redder meat, that's just me, yeah. but yeah. So um, we're going to do the air fryer on this one here. Otherwise you can, what are our options? Frying pan would be one. Yeah, we usually bake them. Um, or the, the air fryer, it just gets rid of all the fat. Yeah, it's the oil. So. good little unit. Um, I do a lot, when I do mine, I do a lot of patties where I'll just make them flat and kind of fry them. But um, mm. Amanda makes them round like this. They kind of hold the moisture a bit better at times. Um, and as she said, the air fryer does a great job of it. Mm -hmm. So then, um, how long do you normally chuck them in for? Oh, depends on how big I make them as well. But it's usually until I get the feels. <laughs> get the feels, that's what we like to hear. Amanda's cooking style is when she gets the feels and she thinks everything's cooked right. She goes and takes them out. So we can't really help you how long we put them in there for. And I'm always spot on. You are always spot on, yeah, but it's not very good for our cooking show if we just go no. do the feels. So these ones I'll probably put in for 10 minutes um, on grill. Yep. They're just a grill air fryer setting. And just cut one open, see how we go. Sounds About good. 10 minutes should. All right, should do it. 10 minutes should give us the feels. Yep, so we'll just do it in batches. Rightio, what are we, what are we going on? Air fry? Yeah, grill. Oh, grill. Yeah. 10 minutes on minutes. grill. 
All right, let's give that a go. We're mm -hmm. going to just do a bit of cleaning and um, get ready for the next batch. Yep. All right, so um, we think we're good to go. We put them in for another two minutes. So I reckon maybe 12 yeah, minutes 12 for these minutes. ones. 12 minutes with the air fryer. Oh, look at that. Stunning little balls. Mm, it's so juicy. Don't you love juicy balls? <laughs> Settle down. This is a family show, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna slowly um, set up the other ones. We're gonna we're gonna cut one open and eat it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Sacrifice one. Oh, that's the sacrifice one we did before. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Come on. In the way. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> you gonna eat it? Let us know what you think. Don't uh, don't burn yourself. Uh, yeah, I think they're a bit hot still. A bit too hot. Oh, it smells good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Sweet. All you right. Try. I will. Oh, sorry. Sorry, camera. Oh, they <laughs> are hot. Here we go. Oh. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Yep. Mm. Surprising they're not that hot, heat wise. Mm. They just get a nice little bit of fl flavour in there, but they're definitely not hot by any means. Alrighty, mm. let's go and put the next batch on. Yep. <laughs> 